Hello, my name's Mark Nettle, Director of Student Services, and we're here to talk to you a little bit about Rag Day. Rag Day is approaching fast again, and uh, you may not be aware that RAG stands for Raise and Give. It's a day when we try to raise as much money as possible for charity, but we also try to have fun, and as well as having fun, we try to stay safe. So on the day, we hope that as many of you as possible will dress up and wear something funny or interesting or ridiculous um, and uh, have a good time in college, taking part in activities, going to the party in the evening. Um, so really important that you enjoy yourself, but also really important that you stay safe, which is why I'm really pleased that we're working with uh, the police and other professionals to make sure you have a, a safe day. Um, on the day, there'll be a free breakfast as well in college, so you know, do come and take advantage of that. But let me introduce Tom Folland, Student Union President, who will tell you a bit more about what happens on the day. My name is Tom Folland, I am the Student Union President. Uh, we really want you to have a great rag day. Uh, we're putting on loads of fun activities, including a roller disco um, in the sports hall. Please come and see us. We're going to have loads of different skates and music and have a great time. We also have the famous rag day party in the evening at the Palace. Um, if you can get your tickets after 1pm at the Student Union desk, that would be great. Um, and we'll give them to you there. Uh, we also have many charities we're supporting throughout the year, but we've chosen three uh, special charities to us to support at Rag Day. This year, our first international charity is UNICEF. We really want to support them because of the work they're doing in and around Europe, especially in the refugee crisis. Our second charity this year is in Charlie's Memory. This is a local charity to Bridgewater and deals with all sorts of mental health and other related issues. They also have a hotline which you can ring and we really, really want to support this and encourage this as it's been really useful to all different kinds of students in this college and around Bridgewater. Our final charity this year is Great Ormond Street Hyperinsulinism Department. This department deals with hundreds of children's cases every year and saves hundreds of lives. Um, can I introduce uh, Joe Pasolina who is a neighbourhood sergeant um, and Joe let's just cover some important stuff that we have to remember on Rag Day. Hello, my name is Joe Pacina, uh, Police Sergeant in Bridgewater. I'm uh, really pleased to be working with the college again this year on Rag Day. Um, we're very much involved. Um, we think it's important that we raise money and have a good time together. We'll be in the college on the day, so please come and see us. I do have to give you an important message though about the evening. Um, we'll be issued with uh, wristbands that uh, shows the uh, public houses if you are over the drinking age of, of 18. So please, uh, please abide by those rules. The pubs will not serve you um, if you are under the age of 18. Um, the other message I want to give you really is um, I want you to have fun. Um, by all means, have uh, you know drink alcohol. But you've got to remember um, there is a limit. Um, there's a dispersal. Uh, order over the town centre, which is uh, section 35. Um, if, you, if people are being drunk and disorderly, um, you will be asked to leave by the police for a 24-hour period. Um, obviously, if you don't abide by that, that can lead to an arrest. We want to absolutely avoid that. We think Rag Day is a brilliant thing for the town and for the college, so please have fun. Um, we will be, um, and let's make it another good year like last year um, and raise plenty of money. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening, and let's make Rag Day 2016 the best ever. Come on, come on. Come on.